Now, Mike Ashley claims dark forces are stopping the club from succeeding. The Newcastle owner has begun legal action against the Premier League after a failed takeover attempt by a Saudi Arabian-backed consortium last year. Let's get more on this with Keith Downey. Keith, Ashley's determined to sell. We know that. What happens now? Well, Tom, we must wait to find out the, the results, the answers from that long-running arbitration, independent arbitration case that Mike Ashley has against the Premier League. We do expect those to start in the, the weeks and months ahead. How long that takes, uh, we don't know. But if there was any ever any questions as to Mike Ashley's intentions to sell the club, then it was answered last night when a, a single-pronged attack became a, a double-barrel attack on the Premier League when, St. James, uh, when Mike Ashley's uh, company, St James's Holdings, and the, the football club, uh, Newcastle United, behind me, um, took the Premier League to what is the competition uh, appeal tribunal over the collapse of that long-running saga of the Newcastle United takeover uh, last summer, summer when, when, of course, it collapsed. The tribunal uh, received a claim, we found out last night, for damages from Mike Ashley last month, uh, with the owner then saying in a statement to Sky Sports News last night, it's now time, as you say, Tom, for the dark forces that are preventing this football club from becoming the powerhouse that the supporters deserve uh, to step aside. So strong words from Mike Ashley last night. We've been saying for months now that he will leave no stone unturned to try and get this takeover pushed through uh, an agreement he felt was in place and, and it was ready to be pushed through last summer until part of the consortium, the, the Saudi-backed part, 80% uh, of that consortium walked away. I was stood here at the end of July last year when that news broke. So a two-pronged attack from Mike Ashley, the, the independent arbitration, which of course we should find out uh, in the next couple of months as to whether Newcastle are successful, Mike Ashley is successful on that. And then, of course, this news last night. So Mike Ashley, as ever, going gung-ho uh, in one of in his attempt to try and make sure this takeover is pushed through, desperate to sell the football club and making sure that every Newcastle United supporter knows about it as well. Yeah, Newcastle fans will be desperate to see how that all ends up.